Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Journeyman Distilleries, Corsets, Whips, and Whiskey, 117 proof. How will it stand up? Stay tuned and find out. Welcome back. Today we're talking about Journeyman Distilleries, Corset, Whips, and Whiskey. Or as I like to say, chips, whips, dips, and everything else that you could find at a high school party. Just kidding. This one was recommended highly by David from Whiskey Row. Being a Michigan guy myself, I was very curious to find this. I mean, I've heard about it. I've seen it. But I hadn't really seen anybody really drink it. I mean, it's mash bill is 100% Michigan wheat. So that on its own is pretty damn interesting. So he raved about it. So I went out and found one at a Total Wine. And then I found another one at a mom and pop shop in Livonia, Michigan. And they had them at MSRP at $60 each. This is 117 proof. So let's get into the back. This is Journeyman Distilleries located in 1800, 1800s Corset and Buggy Whip Factory in Three Oaks, Michigan. Once a dry town, we feel we finally added the essential ingredient to a great party. Well, you've got the corset and buggy whips. Now you got the whiskey. That must be a pretty damn interesting party. Join us every July for our annual Corset Whips and Whiskey event. You know, I really might need to check into that to see what the hell is really going on. But the great thing on the back that this says, it's USDA, it's organic, so it's organic wheat. It's organic from MOSA. It's kosher organic, and it's certified gluten-free. So, I mean, by all means, this thing is the most organic whiskey I've pretty much ever seen. I mean, just look on the back. It's got like 19 different hundred labels on there. That's hilarious. But like I always say, that's great about the history. It's great about the bottle. It's a good looking bottle. I love it. It's very reminiscent. I live here in Wyandotte. And there's a lot of bottles when you excavate old homes to build new ones like the one I have. And you find a lot of these old whiskey bottles or old medicine bottles that are buried all over the site. So I even have some that are sitting over on my desk. So it's kind of cool. It reminds me of that. But like I said, we always talk about the bottle and the history. What's the juice like inside? So let's get to the nose. Oh, that's spicy vanilla. Like uh, when you get a vanilla bean and you crack into it and that, that pungent aroma, that's what this smells like. Whoa. A little bit of nutmeg. You can see here that it's got some legs. They're a, they're a bit wispy. You know, it's a light um, amber in color. And she's got some legs, but they're like olive oil legs. They're kind of spindly looking. Got into the nose. Let's get into our first taste. It's that soft and subtle. There was a uh, review I did recently for the Bernheim original. That was very, boom, right there up in your face. This is very soft and subtle in the background. The, there's definitely a difference between the Bernheim red wheat and the Michigan wheat. The Michigan wheat reminds me of as you're driving through a wheat field and uh, he who walks behind the rows. And then there's the soft as it just kind of just, you just watch it in the breeze. That's what this reminds me of. It's just such a soft, very soft flavor. The, the, it's still going. You get hidden of cinnamon, vanilla, nutmeg. They're there, but they're very soft. It's not overpowering. There's little to no hug. It's just a very unique wheat whiskey. I'll be honest. This would probably honestly blow larceny out of the water. This is actually, I mean, you can see I've drank it past the shoulder just to make sure, kind of give it a little bit of time. I've had this now for about three weeks. Let it uh Stay out for about 20 minutes. But this is really, really nice. This is unique. I've had some other journeymen that I was not honestly a fan of their gin or their other uh, bourbon. I'm just not a fan. It's very youthful, very biting. But this is almost mouthwatering, as you can tell by the way I'm talking. Let's get into a second sip. Yeah, that's got a spicy savoriness to it. It's very... It's not, it's a little sugary, but it's not cloying. It's not uh, getting in there and just banging in all your, your palate net. But it has, 
a little bit of a, it's going to sound weird. If you've ever taken bananas, chopped it up into chips, froze them, and poured on caramel. I know it sounds weird. I've done it before. I've done it with chocolate too. Magic shell is the best. If you ever see that, take banana chips, cut them up, put them in a freezer, bring them out, put magic shell on them, and then eat them. You'll thank me later. But that's what this reminds me of, to get back to the whiskey. David from, honestly, from Whiskey Row is correct. This is really good. It's, it's getting, it's still out there. I mean, it comes out every, around this time, it's June right now here. But if you can find this for 60 bucks, pick it up. That 117 proof does not punch hard. It's very soft. I would think this would drink at like a 94 or 95. It's that subtle. Again, my name is Brian. This is Average Whiskey Drinker Channel. And like I always say, find a bottle, open a bottle, enjoy the bottle. Because good whiskey, even good Michigan whiskey, is always meant to be shared. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you guys soon.